Hey, and welcome to Organic Living with the Hippie Gourmet. In this episode, we're going to be visiting the Berkeley Spice of Life Festival happening right here on Shattuck Avenue in downtown Berkeley. What better way to start off this episode by getting farmer fresh produce from our local farmer's market. Come along. Oh yeah, butternut squash, look at that baby. Maybe a little tomato action. Look at these heirlooms. Lucky what I found, little bell peppers. And we got a couple of serranos too. Beautiful, let's get them. So what this all comes down to, community. Supporting the local farmers who live right around you the other producers of the nice, wonderful jams, jellies, cheeses, meeting up with friends and families at the market to enjoy the love that came out of the ground for our mouths. So let's head back to Kitchen on Fire to meet up with Chef Olivier before we see the rest of the Spice Festival. Hi, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Organic Living with the Hippie Gourmet. I'm Chef Mike C, and we're here at our cooking school, Kitchen on Fire, along with my business partner in crime, the flying Frenchman himself. Chef Olive. Chef Olivier. Himself in the flesh. Starting off with a wonderful roasted butternut squash soup with sage brown butter and garlic toast. Mmm. So the first step that we have to take to make this delicious soup is to roast off our root vegetables. So the first one we're gonna work with is our butternut squash. So I have a sheet pan right here with a little non-stick baking mat. If you don't have one of these at home, a little bit of uh, unbleached parchment paper would be fantastic. And cut it in half lengthwise. And okay, just straight down the middle, skin side up. So the next vegetable that we have to work with are some lovely sweet potatoes. Chef Olivier, take it away. Okay, I will. So in order to cook them well in the oven, we're gonna pierce a little bit the skin. All right, and now into the oven. Oh yeah, I know what it is. Here we go. Bye bye. No, it's not you. It smells too good to be you. Oh, that's the butternut squash, and it's probably done. You wanna check the oven, I brother? I think I'm ready for it. Let's do it. Oh it yeah, look at those guys. So now they're nice and cool and ready to scoop. So I'm gonna get rid of the seeds and the butternut squash, put that in our compost bowl, and scoop the flesh directly into the work bowl of a blender or food processor. Yeah, mine too is really soft. As you can see, I can just peel, I mean, remove all the flesh and keep the peel off. It's okay if you put some of the peel in from the potato, okay? All, most of the nutrients are in between, just right in between the skin and the, the flesh. So it, it's fine to put a little bit of potato of skin in there. So for our stock, you can make vegetable stock at home or you can get yourself some fantastic, already made organic vegetable stock right at the store, such as our, one of our favorite brands, Pacific Foods Organics. So now it's time to blend up this fantastic soup. So we have all the flesh of the sweet potato and the butternut squash in here. I'm gonna add to that a little bit of organic vegetable stock. And Chef Olivier is gonna put in a little bit of organic apple juice to taste. Mmm. Onto the blender base it goes. You crack in some pepper, Chef Olivier. I'm gonna put in a little bit of salt. Now what type of lid are you gonna use though? Since well, hot soup. if it was a hot soup, I would use a damp towel put over so that the top doesn't explode. But yeah. since we let our all of our veggies cool here, we can just go and put the top yes. straight on. Yes! And here we go. Are you ready? Uh, liquefy. Ooh. Ooh. Watch this baby go. And now for our non-vegan friends, we have a kicked up version with a little bit of sage brown butter. The butter's good. The butter's Okay, so over here in the pan, we have some Organic Valley unsalted butter yeah. melting down, but we want to brown it, which most of you have probably done at home unintentionally. We start to see there's a white foam that goes up to the top. That's the protein and the carbohydrates oh. separating out from the liquid butter fat. Ooh, when we get this hot enough, about over 300 degrees, 
it starts that browning reaction, which is gonna give it the nice caramel color, the wonderful toasted nut aromas, and the beautiful depth of flavor. So once that white foam starts coming up, we're gonna use our eyes, ears, and nose. Our eyes yeah. are gonna start seeing larger bubbles starting to form. Our ears are gonna start hearing this gurgling okay. noise. Like and our know? eyes are gonna start seeing that foam start to fall to the bottom of the pan and start to brown up. Once it browns, we're gonna shut off the heat so we don't burn our butter. So now the butter has cooled down for a few minutes, I can throw in our sage leaves, stir it around, and we're gonna let that steep like tea so all that sage flavor infuses out into this butter. While we're letting that wait, why don't we make our garlic toast that are gonna go along with our soup. Yeah, let's make the garlic toast. So right here, on the plate, we have a little bit of our olive oil. We have our cut bread, which you can use anything you want. Today, we have a little bit of baguette. Instead of putting the slices out on the tray here and then trying to grab a bottle of oil and drizzle it on, half of the oil is gonna wind up on the sheet tray and our bread won't really get evenly coated. By having it here on the plate, all I need to do is take a slice of bread, dip it, it's nice, evenly coated, and it goes right onto the tray. All right, now it's into the oven. Can you help me with that one, yes. brother? It's there oven. we go. Ooh, nice oven. Looking good. Oh. So that's gonna take about 10 minutes. Now it's time to get the sage brown butter the soup. into the soup. Nice, get all those nice brown bits. Beautiful. Okay, and again, this is gonna go back on top of our blender. And we're gonna turn it on and puree it. Mm. Why don't you smell this now? That's bitter. Oh, yeah. Let's pour mm. that into a mug. Remember, again, if you wanna warm this up, just put it in a little sauce pot on a low heat. Make sure yeah, to keep on heat. stirring. Good. It's not it's, me. It's it must me. be it's the, me. the oven. It's me and my oven. Let's see what's going on in there. Ah, those toasts look great. Kay. Hot. Those are hot. Now they're cool enough for the touch. And what's happened since we got them nice and cooked, they've become a natural grater. Grater. We're going to take a raw, peeled piece of garlic now and swipe it once or twice across the garlic. Okay. Now that we have the fresh garlic grated, all we need to do is take a couple of them, after trying them, of course, and popping those in with our soup. So we have our vegetarian, non-vegan version, and then we have our lovely vegan version of the same soup, butternut squash. The Hippie Gourmet is brought to you by The Hippie Gourmet's Quick and Simple Cookbook for Healthy Eating. Available in stores wherever books are sold.